Hello, everybody. So in today's video, we have a Funko Pop haul. And this is the first Funko Pop haul that I have done in months. Um, I've bought a couple here and there. Um, nothing insane. Um, but I found some great deals on some Funkos that I bought um, this past couple week, weeks, week, weeks, week and a half. Um, I picked up 14 Funkos. So, yay me for one. I'm super excited to have some new Funkos. I've had the same Funkos for a very long time. Haven't really picked up any. I did pick up um, Baymax since the last Funko Pop haul. I did get Baymax as a box launch exclusive. Um, I also picked up Peter Pan's Flight, which is the Disneyland 65th anniversary Funko. As well as I picked up the Mad Tea Party Alice and the Teacup um, Funko as well. Um, those are pretty cool additions. I have had Alice before, but I decided to get her again because I did get rid of her at one point and I decided I want her back. I got her from the character warehouse for $24. Um, and then I got um, Peter Pan's Flight off box lunch as well. I got him a pre order a long time ago. And then I got Baymax off box lunch.com as well. So, but. The Funkos that I'm going to show you in this video today are actually Funkos that I've gotten from multiple, multiple stores. Um, GameStop, Second and Charles, Box Lunch, Hot Topic, FYE. Um, so a lot of different stores. Um, we're going to start with, uh, let's do Box Lunch Pops first. Um, I have two from Box Lunch. Um, yeah, two from Pop, from Box Lunch. Um I got this one, which is Barbara Minerva from Wonder Woman 1984. Um, I did not have this one to complete my set. I still need, um, I still need the Cheetah and I still need Steve Trevor. But other than that, I have the rest. Um, but she was on sale for $7.99. And then Box was having a 50% off of their clearance area. So she was $7.99 on clearance. I got her $4, um, which I've actually been looking for her. But I didn't want to pay, um... 10 upwards of 10 to 12 dollars for each one because um i wasn't a huge fan of the movie but i wanted to i want to complete the set i want to complete the wonder woman 1984 set so in order to do that i had to get barbara minerva so i was able to find her for four dollars which i'm really really excited about um as well as i also picked up glitter tiana from princess and the frog um this is a brand new funko that just came out yesterday on at box lunch stores um she came out online two days ago and then yesterday she came out in the stores um i called my box lunch and i was like hey do you have any of the princess and the frog pops and they said we have one left so i booked it to box lunch and was able to pick up princess and the frog i do have the original um which is right here um, so I have the original now as well as I have the glitter. So they, they came out with a glitter box lunch exclusive. So it's not diamond, it's glitter, which is really, really cool. Um, I love me some Princess and the Frog, so I needed to have this so I could complete the set. Um, I still need Dr. Facilier and his voodoo mask, and I also need the chase. And then after I get those two, I'll have that set complete as well. So let's do Hot Topic next. Um, this one was actually sent to me from a friend, um, and this is a brand new pop as well. It just came out in February. Um, it is the Hot Topic exclusive Flocked Winnie the Pooh, um, Valentine's Day Winnie the Pooh. Super, super cute. Super awesome colors because of it's flocked. Um, and then he has a little bow and arrow, and you can see there he is flocked. So I was wanting to get this one, but I thought I had missed out on it. Um, and then my friend surprised me with this one in the mail. I did not know it was coming. So I, I am happy to have that one. Love that. Um, the second one we're going to do, the third store we're going to do is Second and Charles. So the Second and Charles ones are pretty cool because I actually did some mystery boxes. Um, second and Charles has $7 mystery boxes. It's one Funko in a box of $7 and you don't know which one you're going to get. 
If you're interested, I did open these up on my TikTok. I will link that, put that link in the description box below if you're interested in checking out my TikTok. Would love for you to come over there and follow me. I do a lot of Funko content if you're interested in that. And then I do a lot of comedy um, videos as well that are just me. So Funkos, and then I also do myself comedy stuff. So if you're interested, come on over, come follow me on TikTok. Um, it's a fun place. It's a really fun and positive place to be in. So if you're interested, come over there. Um, I opened up the two mystery boxes and I ended up getting um, X-Men Deadpool. And then I also got Peter Brady from the Brady Bunch. Um, these were the two that I got from the, the, these were the two that I got from the Funko mystery boxes. Um, really cool to have this one. I don't really have a whole lot of Marvel stuff, especially Deadpool. So I decided to have that. And then the Brady Bunch is a really awesome show that I do love as a child. Or I did love as a child. So I was excited to have um, Peter Brady as well. I did go to I did go to Barnes & Noble the other day um, because I was going to go I wanted to go look at their clearance area because Barnes & Noble if you're not if you're not aware Barnes & Noble always has really good clearance stuff. Um, a lot of their fungos they just aren't able to sell or they had in the store for a very long time. They have them usually 50% off. Well, I went into the store and I was looking for 50% off clearance and I was really shocked to find that they had these two pops um this is pating ting from doctor who and they have bo peep um which is their both this is a barnes and noble exclusive and then this is a 2019 summer convention limited edition exclusive um they were two dollars a piece these were 14 dollars or 15 dollars a piece in the store when they were a regular price so i got them for two dollars a piece so i got 30 dollars worth of pops for four dollars i ended up getting two of each um, and again, TikTok, if you're interested, I'll be doing a giveaway. Um, I'll be giving away two pops over on TikTok when I hit, uh, 400 followers. Um, so if you're interested, go follow me there. But so, yeah, so I was super excited to get these two. Um, I'm not a huge follower of Doctor Who. I don't know anything about Doctor Who. Um, but I could not leave a $2 pop just sitting there in the store. Um, it is a creepy little fellow, but I was excited to get it. I was excited to add it to my collection. I went to I went to FYE um, the other day and I was looking for WandaVision pops. So my whole entire thing was I wanted some WandaVision Funko Pops. Now, they're all like sold out on majority of retail places online. So I my my I had to result to getting them from the store. So I had to go hunt some for the stores. Um, I went to Hot Topic, I went to Box Lunch, I went to Walmart. I went to GameStop and then I ended up at FYE. Um, I did not see any on the shelf. And I went to the register and I said, hi, um, do you have any WandaVision pops in stock? Um, and she was like, let me check. And it said that she had two um, and they were behind the register. So behind the register, they held the ones that are FYE exclusives or more valuable or more popular. Um, so she did show that she had two. And I was super excited because I've been looking for WandaVision Pops for a very long time. Um, and I was able to find Halloween Vision. So Vision from the Halloween episode. And then I was able to find Wanda from the 70s show where she's pregnant with the twins. So I was able to get both of these. I still want um, the Wandas from Wanda from the 50s. I want Vision from the 50s as well as the Chase. And then I also want Wanda from the Halloween episode. I want the ones on top and then I want this one's chase. So those are the ones that I still want and the ones that I still need. They also have Monica Rambo coming out, which is going to be soon, as well as they have the twins, Billy and Tommy, who are going to be coming out um, fairly soon. Um, and if this, if they haven't already come out by the time I put this video up, they will be out as well. Um, it's a two pack of Billy and Tommy. Um, so those are super exciting. I want to get those as well. Um, and then I picked up from Hot Top or from FYE. I picked these up from F this one up from FYE as well. I picked up Sisu from Ray Raya and the Last Dragon. Um, this is a very big set. Um, I don't think I'll be getting all of them. Um, maybe after I watch the movie and if I fall in love with the movie, maybe I want to complete the set. But as of right now, I just really wanted the dragon. Um, plus, uh, FYE had an Excel. If you got one. You bought two pops, you got 1% for 75% off. So I was able to get this one for 75% off. Um, so this is Sisu or Saisu. Um, this is the dragon from Raya and the Last Dragon. 
as well as I did pick up another Marvel FYE exclusive. This was Elect this is Electra um, from Daredevil and Electra. Um, it's celebrating the Marvel's 80 years. I was able to get this pop for $2. Um, they had her on sale for $2. This is an FYE exclusive, which is another $15 pop. Um, and I was like, I have to get her. I'm a huge fan of Electra, even though a lot of people are not. I love the Jennifer Gardner version of Electra. Um, so I was able to grab her as well for $2. And then from today, from Box Lunch, um, I was able to get Tuck Tuck from Raya and the Dragon. Um, I was able to get Tuck Tuck for 30% off. So when I bought, when I bought Tiana, I got Tuck Tuck for 30% off because Box Lunch is having a sale right now. Buy one, get one 30% off. So I was able to get her for this, this guy, Tuck Tuck for, I think it was like $8.00. Um, so there's two down, um, one, two, three, four, five more in just this set. And there's a lot of exclusives that just came out for Amazon and box lunch and stuff like that, that I have not been able to get or even looked at. So those are a fun set that I may start again, depending on if I like the movie or not. Um, another one that I picked up, and this is one that I am very, very excited about. Um, I was at... I was at GameStop the other day looking for WandaVision Pops and they had a table with Funkos that were 30% off. I was like, I can't pass it up. I have to go look. So we were at Second and Charles the other day and this pop was on the shelf and I told my brother, hey, I've been wanting this pop for a very long time. Should I get it? He's like, mm, probably not. The price is a little too expensive. And I was like, okay, cool. I won't get it. I walked into GameStop, looked at the 30% off table. This pop was on the shelf or the table for 30% off. I was able to get this pop for $20 instead of $30, um, which I'm very excited about. It is Valkyrie's Flight from Avengers Endgame. Um, I have been wanting this pop for so freaking long. It is such a cool looking pop. I've taken it out on box already to look at it. It is so cool. Valkyrie is so awesome looking in it. She has her sword. Um, the horse is just amazing. Um, plus it's a bobblehead. So um, I got this one for 20 bucks. It is a pop rides because she's on her horse. It's in great condition. The box is in great condition, which I was really uh, happy about. Um, so I'm excited to have this one. Um, because I wanted it since it came out. I just didn't want to pay the 40 bucks for it. Or the 30 bucks. 29 30 dollars $30 for it. Um, so I was able to get it for 20 bucks, which is a great deal. Now, the last pop that I picked up, and the one that I am the most excited about, um, I was gifted a gift card on Christmas that I have not spent on Amazon. Um, and I went on and I bought something. And I had some money left. And I was like, okay, what can I get? I want some Funkos. Let's go look at Funkos. I typed in Merida. Just for the jokes and giggles. To see how much the original Merida would cost. She was only $15 on Amazon.com. I have not seen her this cheap anywhere else. I have never seen her this cheap. So I picked her up. This is the first edition Merida from the original set of Disney characters. As you can tell there, these they are amazing. I am so excited to have her in my collection. Have both of the Meridas. Um, there is an additional Merida of this one. It is a chrome um, limited edition of 480 pieces. I will never have that in my collection. It's like $300 um, unless I win the lottery one day. Um, but I'm just excited to finally have the original Merida in my collection. Um, I did not think I would ever have her. Um, she wasn't that expensive, and I honestly don't know why I never bought her. But when I found her for $15, when usually she's been about $25 to $30, I was like, I gotta get her. So she came in a perfect condition, perfect box. She came in a, a soft box protector, which was cool. Um, so I am super excited to have her in my collection as well. Um, because I'm a Meredith fan, and I hope y'all know that by now. <laughs> so... All right, so that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this 
Funko Pop haul. I haven't done one in a very long time, so I'm super excited to do it. Um, 14 amazing Funkos, awesome deals, awesome sales. Didn't spend that much on all of them, which was awesome. And I got a lot that I have been wanting um, for a very long time. So with that being said, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell and make sure you hit the like button so I know you enjoy these types of videos. As always, guys, thank you so much for being here and let's go to Disney.